doing it wrong way. Local bookshop owners Tom and Margie are busy. They're dealing with the biggest crowd they've had in their store in over 20 years. It looks a little bit like that around Christmas time sometimes, but not quite like that. Yeah, it's uh, like another Saturday out here onto the uh, week, you know and, I can pop it in mine and that's uh, that's quite a big deal. The crowds are part of Cash Mob Edmonton. Uh, we're going to be going to Alhambra Books. People come together for one night to mob a local business, each spending a small amount of money that adds up to a lot for that store. More than anything, we want people to just really put a spotlight on the business, uh, talk about it on Facebook, Twitter, that kind of thing, and uh, really um, just kind of raise awareness. Now, Cash Mobs may be a fun and different way to go shopping, but organizers and store owners say it's bringing money back into businesses that need it most, especially at a time when more and more people are heading to big box stores. So many like you know huge corporations that have you know giant uh, giant marketing budgets, and it's really easy to uh, look over a lot of the locally owned businesses. Sometimes it's a little cheaper at Walmart, but if we keep doing that for a little bit cheaper, then we won't have any choices. And I think they'll disappear if people don't use them. Cash mods are spreading from city to city as part of a growing movement to live local. It's all planned through social media, and organizers hope to hold a cash mob every month. If uh, you coming like out. coming out and later. meeting people, or if you like just supporting something that's fun and awesome, uh, here's a way to go out into the city and discover something new and be with people who are doing the exact same thing. An idea that business owners couldn't be more thrilled about. <laughs> You're asking me if you can bring 50 people. It's like, yes! <laughs> Reporting for LindaHuang.com, I'm Linda Huang.